everyone, I'm back to do another tier 5 building guide. Today I pick tier 6 infestation for Great Mesa compound. So here is my equipment and my current build. This POI has a few ticker points. I will show you along the way of how to deal with it. So let's start. First off, we need to clear this guard house. There will be one or two police zombies in this guard house. Next, we're going to move inside the compound. There will be a lot of zombies spawn outside in the area. For run and gun, straight forward, they're gonna run to you. You just shoot them down. For stealth build, even in daytime, you shouldn't have any problem because there are a lot of space for you to position yourself far away from zombies. There will be some vultures and some zombie dog in the area, so be careful. Just sweep around the area, clear all the red dots on your compass. As you can see, I already spawned some zombie in that bunker, but I will not shoot them down because we eventually will reach them and I don't want to skip the design pathway, but it's up to you if you want to clear them now. After you're done with all of the zombie in the area, then you will go into this door and run downstairs. This will be the garage area that we need to clear. So in this video, I turn off some shadow setting in video option due to the fact that I don't want the video to look so dark. When I go indoor, I also turn the brightness up to the max. However, if you play in normal setting, this can be really dark in the area, so be careful. After you clear the garage, you should end up in this room. There will be a lot of zombies in this area. From this room, the room on the right, and the room on the left. Usually I clear the middle room and then I will go to the right room. So this elevator area will be the spawn point of the first trigger. So this is how I deal with it, but you can come up with anything else. The zombie will spawn in the shop above and then will drop down. It is designed to make them flank you from behind when you place the switch. Now after I'm done with this, I will go into the left room that I didn't clear. They will spawn on the ground and above which you can't shoot up. So you need to destroy this grid if you are stealth build to kill them. Next, you need to press this switch which is a trigger point. But mine is bugging out now so I will need to destroy the switch to activate it. You can see that there's a gas barrier around this area. So you can utilize them for the ambush. Now that they spawn, I will shoot these people inside this room first. They're usually not more than 2 or 3. Afterward, I will come back to this elevator shop that we already prepared for it and then shoot them down. Next, we will go to this room and climb up this stair. Jump out this broken window and we will enter this area. Next room we need to clear is this room. Then continue, climb down the ladder. When you reach here, you can shoot across to kill the zombie behind this barrier. Now, cross this gap and continue forward. I call the next trigger point, raining soldier zombies. So usually I prepare this block and then spawn them. Now, I'm gonna jump above and shoot them down. As you can see, I remain in crouching position because I don't want to spawn and aggro zombies inside that tunnel that we will go next. For run and gun, have fun, they might spawn and run to you. After you clear this area, follow the tunnel and you should reach this area. First, clear the gym. Then you should go into the barracks and end up in the shower room. All the red dots will spawn on your compass, just clear them. You should end up here. And as you can see, there will be some soldier zombies spawn at the elevator in front of you. However, stealth build or even run and gun, you might not spawn this zombie in the rondy room. So please clear these zombies because some people miss it because you didn't actually spawn them in your compass. Afterward, we will climb the elevator and go to the next floor. 
you should end up here and then clear some zombies on the broken wall on your left and then follow this tunnel. Next area will be another trigger point which is the fire hazard area. You clear the area first and then usually I'm just gonna make these two block because I have parkour skill to play with the next wave. Now you need to place this switch. If it's bug out like mine, then you need to destroy it to spawn them. Go to this door and you should end up here. Clear the area. Now we're gonna go down this hatch. The water under will prevent you from shooting when you're swimming. So you might want to shoot all the zombies from this ladder. However, you can go up close and personal to melee them. Because you can melee zombies when you're swimming. After clear them, Swim across and climb up this ladder and clear this area. You should pass these two rooms which is a storage room. Now here is another trigger point. For me personally, I will remain in these two rooms because as soon as you pass this counter and go into the area, they will spawn a trigger point there. Just deal with this trigger point however you want. For run and gun build, all the zombies in the area in this floor should run to you so you can hold the position around this counter and storage room. For stealth build, you might need to just deal with this wave while you're crouching so you will later clear those zombies in the stealth mode. Now I'm just gonna clear the area on the zombie that I didn't aggro yet in this floor. Then go to this exit door and go to another area. Clear the whole area which has a lot of scientist zombie and has my suit zombie. You should end up at this exit door. Usually I will clear this zombie from inside because if you walk out, there will be another trigger point. If you want to save play, then you might want to clear this group first. Now I'm gonna just build this little barrier and then go out to trigger them. Now you deal with them as you want. Continue to this stair, climb up. This is the gate that they just spawn and run inside, but it is the way backward. We will not go there. Continue up the stair. Now you should reach the area before wall room. Clear this area. For run and gun, have fun. Be careful because there will be a lot of zombies. For stealth build, you can totally stealth kill all of these zombies. So good luck with that. You should end up in this bunker. After you clear this wave, walk along to another side to spawn another wave and clear them. After you're done, this is the root room. You need to trigger the switch to open the door. Mine is bug, so let's destroy it. Zombies in the last room are spawned in a sleeper mode, so you can still stealth kill all of them. And then, congratulations, you just clear Red Mesa compound. Loot as much as you want and then activate the switch to climb up the ladder to your exit. And that's it guys for Red Mesa Compile. I noticed that my previous video have a really low audio volume because I didn't know that sometimes YouTube degrade your audio quality when you upload and then you can't fix it anymore. So I apologize for the previous video and I will make sure to make it better from this video onward. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video of Tier 5 Building Guide. Bye bye.